What's going on everybody? Today I want to share some of my favorite places in the country. A traveler's bucket list guide to some of the most popular places in the United States. I have dozens of travel guides on my channel that dive deep into local destinations and specific states, which include popular classics, hidden gems, and hikes of all difficulties. I even have a guide for my top 50 hikes in the USA, but for this video, I want to share 10 places that everyone should see before they die, and every place on this list is easily accessible to everyone. To enjoy every location on this list, all you need to do is get there. Some of the spots may have long hikes, but if you want to just see everything that's easily accessible and enjoy some outdoor beauty, then this is the guide for you. Let's dive right in. This is my top 10 USA bucket list travel destinations. First up is going to be New England. I typically lean towards mountain destinations in my travel guides because I really love long hikes deep in the mountains. Even though this guide isn't in order, it's just my top 10 favorites. I'm going to start with New England, and this region includes six states, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. You really can't go wrong with visiting any of these states. The nice thing is that they are so close together, so it makes for a great road trip. Maine is home to Acadia National Park, which has beautiful coastlines and mountains, and the very fun and exhilarating precipice hike. Maine is also the start or end of the Appalachian Trail, depending on which way you hike. And New England is great to visit year round, but it is probably the best place in the world to see fall foliage. So if you like to watch the leaves change colors in the fall, then this is the place for you. New England turns into never ending mountains and forest of rainbow colored trees. It is unbelievable. There are plenty of hikes and drives that can take you to a great vantage point of seeing these. And if you're a drone pilot, then this is a place you don't wanna miss. I couldn't recommend visiting New England enough. Next up is going to be the Grand Canyon, and I feel like this list wouldn't be complete without including this bucket list location. The Grand Canyon is one of the most special places in the world. It's no wonder millions of people travel here every single year. The Grand Canyon has an unfathomable amount of layered bands of red rock that showcase millions of years of geological history. Over millions of years, water carved out the canyon through water's tremendous erosive power. And while the Colorado River flows through seven different states, the Grand Canyon is mostly home to just Arizona. There are tons of roadside pull-offs to enjoy the Grand Canyon, but if you're looking for something a, a little bit more intense and adventurous, then you can check out the Bright Angel Trail, which will take you all the way to a white sand beach at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. It's almost a 20 mile day hike, but it is such an amazing experience. And until I did this, I had no idea that I would find a white sand beach at the bottom of this canyon. So that was really cool. The Grand Canyon is also home to the Hopi Salt Trail, a place that few people know about. The Hopi Salt Trail is a very long and difficult hike that takes you to the bottom of the Little Colorado River, and while this hike is just a few miles outside of the National Park boundary, it is still very much part of the Grand Canyon, a part that few people make it to, might I add. I have a very detailed travel guide on everything you need to know for this place specifically, so I will link that below if you'd like to watch it. Next up is going to be the Tetons and Yellowstone. Western Wyoming and a little bit of Montana are home to Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone National Park, two of the most beautiful national parks in the country. The town that you'd call base camp for visiting the Tetons is going to be Jackson, Wyoming, a beautiful mountain town south of both parks. This is very close to the Tetons, which has so many incredible hikes and viewpoints, including Jenny Lake, Taggart Lake, Schwabacher Landing, Delta Lake, and you can climb all of the peaks in the range. There are also some incredible places outside of the National Park. Jackson is home to some of the most famous ski resorts in the world and some of the best backcountry skiing you can find in Wyoming. To name one place, Teton Pass is a place that my buddy Hayden took me out to last year for the first time I went in the backcountry. And while Jackson is the best place to stay for the Tetons and the ski resorts, it is still a very far drive to Yellowstone. Yellowstone itself is such a big national park, it encompasses more than 2.2 million acres of land, so you'll have a good bit of driving time no matter where you stay. My favorite place to stay is West Yellowstone, which is right by the western entrance, and to me, this is the best for all places in the park you'll want to visit. But you can also stay in Grant Village, Cody, Canyon Village, or at a variety of campgrounds in and around the park. 
In Yellowstone, you will find Grand Prismatic Spring, which is the largest hot spring in the United States and the third largest in the world. It is unbelievably beautiful, showcasing a rainbow of colors. You can see this up close or from afar on a hike through the trees to the west of the spring. There's waterfalls, canyons, wildlife, and so much more in Yellowstone, but one more place you can't miss is Old Faithful Geyser, which is a highly predictable geothermal feature south of Grand Prismatic where you can watch the geyser erupt and it actually happens every 44 minutes. For Yellowstone and the Tetons, if you're looking for an extra special way to see the parks, you can take a scenic flight from Jackson, and this is one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had in the States. Seeing Grand Prismatic from above was such a special experience. Next up is the Pacific Northwest, and for purposes of this video, I'm going to be referring to Oregon, Idaho, and Washington State. These states are filled with beautiful rocky coast, endless waterfalls, beautiful national parks, volcanoes, and rugged mountains. The Pacific Northwest really has it all. I have explored these states a number of times, but I still feel like I've only scratched the surface and I can't wait until I get another opportunity to road trip this area. Washington State is home to Mount Rainier National Park, which is one of the most famous mountains in the country. There's also North Cascades National Park and Olympic National Park. And while Oregon is only home to one national park, Crater Lake, there is still so much more to see than these parks. There are a handful of beautiful state parks, national forest, and wilderness areas. A few other places to add to your list here include the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho, Idaho Falls, Samuel Boardman State Park, Columbia River Gorge, Smith Rock State Park, The Enchantments, and so much more. Not to mention there are some awesome cities up here. If you're looking for a fun experience in Seattle, I'd recommend taking a scenic helicopter flight over the city. It's a beautiful way to see the area. At number five, we have Utah, which is one of my favorite places in the world. I've road tripped Utah probably close to two dozen times, and I will likely explore the state a few dozen more times in my lifetime. For starters, Utah is home to the Mighty Five National Parks, which are Arches National Park, Canyonlands National Park, Capitol Reef National Park, Bryce Canyon National Park, and Zion National Park, which make for a killer road trip if you're looking to see them all in one push. But Utah is also home to more than 40 state parks, which most of these are just as amazing as the national parks. Some of my favorite Utah state parks include Quail Creek, Kodachrome Basin, Great Salt Lake, and Goblin Valley. The deserts in the south are beautiful, and the mountains in the north are filled with awesome hikes, climbing, and mountain biking, and there are some world-renowned ski resorts like Park City and Snow Basin. Not to mention, Utah also has some extremely unique things like the Bonneville Salt Flats, which is an area of densely packed salt that is spread across 40 square miles. And not too far from here is Promontory Point, which is a pink salt lake near Salt Lake City, which is probably one of the most unique things I've ever flown my drone over. Utah has a very special place in my heart and I urge everyone to make a trip here in their lifetime. I almost never include cities in my travel guides. This might actually be the first time, but if you are visiting the United States and want to see the best of the country, it'd be hard not to include New York City on this list. New York City is one of the craziest cities in the world. It's such a fun place and a bucket list destination for anyone visiting and there's so much to do here. The hustle and bustle here is unmatched. The food is top notch. You can literally get every cuisine in the world here and it's all at such a high quality. From street food to takeout to Michelin star restaurants, 
the food here is the best. And while you're visiting, you're gonna have to make sure you see some iconic spots like Central Park, Wall Street, the Empire State Building, East Village, Chelsea Market, Brooklyn, and really the list goes on and on. You can walk miles and get lost in the city. You can see a Broadway show, rent a bike in Central Park. There is a ton of things to do. And even if you're not a city person, I would suggest visiting here because it's such a unique city, even if it's just for a short visit. And number seven, we're gonna have the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. I live in Denver and my girlfriend is a third generation native and we love Colorado so much. From Bree growing up here to the last eight years I've spent exploring the state to now living here, we can't tell you how much there is to do here. We are big hikers, backpackers, and rock climbers, and the activities to do and places to see here are in the thousands. But some of my favorite places I wanna share with you are Rocky Mountain National Park, Ure, Telluride, Crested Butte, Summit County, and Pagosa Springs. Colorado is also home to the famous Colorado 14ers, which are mountains that stand above 14,000 feet. There are between 65 and 75 14ers in the lower 48 states, depending on the source, and Colorado is home to 58 of them. Many avid hikers here have a lifetime bucket list goal of climbing them all, I've only climbed 13 of them, but I've done multiple routes up a few of them, with my favorite 14ers being Long's Peak and Mount Sneffels. If you love mountains, Colorado is the place for you, and after you've done a bunch of long days in the mountains, you should head over to the Springs Resort in Pagosa Springs. It is home to the world's deepest hot spring and the best place to relax and enjoy some good old hot spring soaking. Next up are going to be the Appalachian Mountains, and for this video I'm going to be focusing specifically on the midsection of the range. The Appalachian Mountains are home to, the, to one of the biggest trails in the country, the Appalachian Trail, which spans roughly 2,190 miles. The trail starts in Maine and ends in Georgia, and I've only done a few of the trail segments in Virginia and my home state of Maryland, but the Appalachian Mountains span further than just this iconic trail. My favorite places in this mountain range include the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Cummins Falls, Devil's Bathtub, Ozone Falls, Falls of Hills Creek Waterfall, Seneca Rocks, and Nelson Rocks. If you're looking for a really unique adventure and a big challenge, you can do the Via Ferrata on Nelson Locks, which is so much fun. You're pretty much getting the experience of rock climbing without having to rock climb, and you get to go across the suspension bridge. Most places I've explored in this mountain range are West Virginia, Virginia, and Tennessee. I've only really scratched the surface on the Appalachian Mountains, but they are amazing. They may not hold jagged peaks like the Pacific Crest Trail or the Continental Divide Trail, but there's so much beauty to see here. At number nine, we're going to have California, which could have its own series of travel guides because California is almost like its own country. It's an incredibly diverse state with something for everyone. I've been to California a handful of times and hopefully in the future after seeing more, I can make more California specific travel guides for the channel. But for now, I'll give you some of my favorites, which include Yosemite National Park, Alabama Hills, the geothermal area of Mammoth Lakes, Sequoia National Park, the Redwoods, and the entire coast of California. California is also home to the tallest mountain in the lower 48 states, Mount Whitney, and I hope one day I can climb this peak. There's a handful of ways to the top which are mostly climbing, but there is a long hiker's trail up to the summit that is 22 miles. We have never been able to secure permits for this, but hopefully one day. Whether it's cities, mountains, the coast, or unique landscapes, you can pretty much find anything you're looking for in California. Last up but not least is Glacier National Park in Northern Montana. Glacier, in my opinion, is high on the list of the most beautiful national parks in the country. I'm not sure how many parks I've been to, but it's probably around 70% of them, and you just can't find the jagged mountains or turquoise alpine lakes anywhere else, where in Glacier, it's just the norm of the park. Glacier has steep towering mountains, big glaciers, and a great mix of accessible yet beautiful viewpoints with very difficult hikes in the backcountry. This is a place where you need to be extra safe. There is a ton of wildlife and you are not alone on these trails. We have encountered grizzly bears a few times in Glacier, so it's something to be aware of. The most classic destination here is Lake McDonald and you can park right on the shore and enjoy the view. And if you're looking for a longer day, my favorite hikes here are Grinnell Glacier, 
Cracker Lake and Iceberg Lake, all of them have unmatched beautiful views. As far as climbing goes, the only peak I have climbed in the park is Mount Reynolds, and thanks to my friend Kyle, it was kind of the birth of my love for alpine mountain climbing. Anyways, that is going to wrap up my top 10 USA travel destinations. I really hope you like this video. I have a handful of other top 10s, travel guides, and adventures from around the world on my channel. If you like this video, it would mean the world to me if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, if you're still here, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.